Changes occur in all of our lives that cause us to think about what matters to us. I believe that we have to actively adapt to these changes instead of sitting back and letting them reshape our lives in ways that we don't like. If we choose to sit back, we will never accomplish what we want. We will just be perpetually disappointed, thinking about what could have happened if we had adapted instead. This year, I had to quit playing my favorite sport, hockey. I played for about six years, and before that, I had skated. It was the most amazing feeling to go rushing down the ice at what seemed like 60 miles an hour with the wind curving around my helmet. You probably know, hockey is a heavy contact sport in which it is very easy to get hurt. At the level I would have been playing at this year, hitting is allowed. Don't let the fact that I'm standing on a stool fool you. I am a bit on the small side, especially compared to other hockey players, so getting hit in a game could be very dangerous. At the same time, eighth grade at St. Matthews is fun, busy, and full of responsibilities. We have to do big things, such as high school applications and writing the chapel talk. For eighth graders, it's the culmination of our years here. I've been building up to this since third grade when I joined the school. If I got hurt playing hockey, it would make this year much harder, potentially holding me back from my goals and keeping me back from participating in many important events. For this reason, my parents decided I would quit hockey. I was not on board with this plan, and I was annoyed with my parents for making it without talking to me. Although I understood their reasoning, I didn't like it, and I fervently hoped they would change their minds. Meanwhile, I pouted and had a bad attitude about it. I didn't want to try anything new for months after quitting. In doing so, I didn't realize all the opportunities that had opened up because I wasn't playing it. This includes school sports and hanging out with my friends at, after school. I was so wrapped up feeling bad about losing something that I loved and that I was distracted from the new things I could try. I told myself there was nothing that could replace the sport I had played for so long. I spent some months afterward not doing much except for school and a couple of extracurriculars. I was doing good in most of the things I was doing because of the time that I had. However, it got boring and once I realized that I couldn't play my favorite sport, I started to think of what else I could do. And soon enough, I started to do many things that I wasn't able to do due to my, before, due to my commitments. In the reading that Caden read for us, the Lord says, I know I have plans for you. I want you to enjoy success. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. The changes in our lives can't control us if we don't let them. Although I am Hindu, I agree with what Jeremiah is saying. The mystery of God, the Brahman in my faith, wants us to succeed and have a good and happy future. In the same way my parents made the decision about hockey, not to take away my joy and ruin my life, but to protect me and my future successes. Choosing to adapt to changes means taking risks and thinking outside of the box of our old habits and ways of doing things. Suppose your friends are getting together for a party, and out of the blue your parents decide you can't go because of where the party is. Instead of moping around and disliking the, that they changed their mind, think about how you can still achieve your goal to have fun with your friends. So you can't go to the party, but maybe you can have the party come to you. So don't be like me, moping around instead of finding new ways to have fun. Step up to the differences and changes in your life. Make the most of the opportunities that you have. Changes aren't the whims of a cruel god or cruel, cruel parents. They are life, the stuff that happens. If we want a full life full of joy and success, we will have to continuously adapt, thinking flexibly and keeping an open mind. In that way, we will build the life our parents, God, and we hope for ourselves to have. Thank you.